I just bought a mystery minis bag. And I sure think it was worth it. So as I said, I just bought a mystery minis bag from my local hobby shop. I got four miniatures, three knife haunt glaives, wraith, stalkers or something. And I'm pretty sure this one is called a jailer, but I'm not sure. If anyone can confirm that, that would be nice. Uh, so I am not really a Age of Sigma player, or I'm an Age of Sigma player, which the Night Haunts are. I am a Chaos Space Marine player in Warhammer 40k. So this is quite a nice change, I think, because these miniatures are utterly just epic. Um, so I recently lost a subscriber. One out of 27 is quite a lot, if you think about it. So I am wanting to post every week now, and that is why I'm only doing a preparation video. You might be tired of these now, but I have to do it since the algorithm likes it. Next week I will be doing the actual painting of the miniature. So in this video I am placing the miniature and priming it and then also giving it a zenithal highlight. Well I think that's basically all I need to say for this video so let's get straight into the video. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy it. Forgot to say that. <laughs> After I opened up the bag where the minis came in, they came in these other four bags. I opened those up and I started cleaning off all of the mold lines. Those are the lines that show up when after they've casted the miniatures. Those are quite prominent after you've painted, so I suggest you clean them up. I carried on this process with all of the miniatures and I also cleaned up some sprues as you see here. I used poly cement for sticking the miniatures together since it essentially melts the plastic and welds it together. Here is how all of the different minis look. I started off making a lantern so I made a mold and filled it with hot glue and then cut off that mold and cut it into a tiny square. I then lined it with paper to make it look like a lantern room and made a loop to put it onto the actual spear. Now I'm going to start on the base. My first plan was to make the bricks out of foam because I'm planning to do pathways but then I found this uh, bark in my garden which I am now making into the roughly square and rectangular shapes. After I finished making all the squares and rectangles out of the bark, I stuck them to the base with PVA glue. After I put on the bricks, I um, stuck with some more PVA glue, little pieces of the bark, just to make it look like the road is breaking. 
I took some wood glue, toilet paper and water to make the actual soil. I put the wood glue onto the ground first. After that I wet the wood glue and put some of the paper on. After you've put on the paper you can use your fingers and a toothpick or something to form it how you would like it. To add some variation you can make things like tombstones out of foam and just carve them. The final touch to the bases is a thick uh, layer of wood glue and get some soil out of your garden and uh, microwave it to kill all of the microorganisms and just sprinkle that on and you can mix it in with the wood glue if you would like mud. You don't want the lantern while you're priming to get dirty with the primer, so I use some Prestec. I'm using white rust oleum primer and spraying it from a distance as you should. Uh, I shook it well beforehand. I am continuing this process with all of my For the last step I'm using a dip wash to get a zenithal highlight. It's time for the reveal. kind of did suck that I lose the subscriber but I am really glad that I am getting more people that are watching my videos for longer so I've gotten more view time recently and it is quite exciting my channel is basically growing without me getting more subscribers um, as you can see Earthman Brick has suggested to me to get a looping video which I have and it looks really cool um, this has been a really great video to make uh, these miniatures are actually amazing I am actually considering starting a lot horned army because of this um, thanks Earthman Brick for the suggestion and it is always appreciated like and subscribe if you enjoyed. See you later.